I'm Roxette Arisa and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this makeup look right here. I'm so excited to show you guys how I created it because I love how it turned out. I love me some nudes, some neutrals. You love you some nudes, hopefully. So uh, yeah, we're going to be doing this look and I used a bunch of new products that I got um, recently actually. So there's going to be lots of new stuff in this video and you can see me kind of trying it out for the first time. Many first impressions, not really though, but you know, just throwing that out there. Just got to throw a little salt up, <laughs> up in this house. And um, yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. And if you want to be notified of all my videos, hit the little bell down there as well. And on that note, let's get into this tutorial. So I already went to prime... <laughs> Starting off on a great note today. <laughs> um, so I already went ahead and primed with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil because I read that they actually recommend letting it sink in, like you don't use it with foundation if that makes sense. You let it sink in and then go on to foundation. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using this guy from Makeup Forever. It's the Ultra HD Stick Foundation and this is actually one of their new shades. It's Y375. So I'm just gonna apply a generous amount of that stick foundation to my face and then start to blend it in with the uh, Sigma Beauty 3D HD Blender. We are gonna be moving to eyes and I'm using this guy, I'm so excited. So this is the new Baked Browns palette from Dose of Colors and just, this is like everything I live for right here. So I'm really excited to use it. I was so inspired when, um, when I got this in the mail. But first, we still need to prime the eyes. I forgot about that little step because I got too excited. So I'm just buffing MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre into my eyelids with a Morphe R32 brush. First off with this shade over here, which is called Tea Light, I'm gonna set the, the little, set the base down into place. Then taking the shade Tea Light, which is a really nice, soft, uh, kind of warm, medium brown, I'm gonna use this as our main transitional shade, and so I'm blending that into the crease with a MAC 217. Next up, I'm gonna take a bit of the shade Cherry Wood on a Sigma Blending E25 and blend that into the crease, but only focusing on the outer third so that we start to create a little bit of a soft cut crease. Then once most of the pigment is off the brush, you can sort of slowly blend it inwards. Then I'm gonna take a Dose of Colors pencil brush and the shade Rock Bottom, which is the dark brown, and start to define that cut crease just a little bit more, again, focusing on the outer corner and blending inwards. And I like to just go back in and kind of clean up the base of the lid with that same MAC Soft Ochre paint pot and a uh, BH Cosmetics V7 concealer brush. And then again, I kind of repeat the same process of setting that base into place with uh, the shade Tea Light. Next. We're ready to add on a wing. So I think I'm gonna go with a brown wing because brown is kind of nude, right? So I'm gonna be using the Sigma Stand Out Eyes Gel Liner in the shade Liberally Toasted with a Sigma E06 wing liner brush. You guys know this is my favorite combo of all time. And you guys know I always like to go over my gel liner with liquid liner to really help it get locked down. Um, and this is a really good brown one that I like to use a lot actually. It's the Sigma Beauty Line Ace in the shade Monogram. For my lashes, I'm gonna be using House of Lashes Iconics. And for mascara, before that, um, I'm actually gonna try out this Catrice Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara. Actually, one of you guys told me that it was really good. And I looked at my collection and I already had it. So I'm gonna try it out today. If I can find my eyelash curler which I cannot. I guess I'm not curling them. We are finally ready to move on to concealer. Snap Fam nose, my ride or die right here. So I actually like to use um, the medium under the eyes and then light medium down the middle of the face to kind of just balance everything out. I don't know, that's what I've been doing lately. So. That is what I'm gonna be doing today. And I'm just applying that and then blending it in with that same 3D HD blender from Sigma. Alrighty, and once I'm done uh, with the concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and set it down with this new Makeup Forever powder. This is the Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder, and I'm just gonna press that into the face with my Damp Beauty Blender. Now for contour, I'm actually gonna be using Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. This is the newer, uh, lighter shade. I haven't used it yet, but you know, we gonna try it out today. Then I'm gonna add on some bronzer, and today I'm using MAC Give Me Sun with a Morphe R7 brush. And if you can see, I kinda like to go in with padding motions first, and then 
blend it out because I feel like that gives me the most flawless bronzer application. Sometimes I feel like if I go in directly and uh, pat it in, I mean, sorry, if I go in and like blend it out right away, I almost blend away part of my foundation and it starts to look a little bit patchy. So this is the technique that I found to work best for me. I tried to take off all the like foundation and stuff that was stuck on, on my lips and it just looks really weird now. But we are going to move back to that lower lash line now. So I'm gonna go back into the Baked Browns palette from uh, Dose of Colors and revisit our old friend, the little old pencil brush. And I'm gonna actually take a little bit of the shade Deserted and then a little bit of the shade Cherry Wood and sort of blend that into the lower lash line. I am focusing the darker shade more on the outer corner though. And now that I have kind of like the layout set and ready to go, I'm actually gonna add in more of that dark brown shade to the outer corner right where the wing is so that we can just Deepen it up a little bit more. And you always want to have a blending brush on hand so you can like, you know, do a little bit of damage control. Found it. Okay. We see you, Dose of Colors. We see you. Um, okay. <laughs> of course, I'm going to add some mascara to the bottom lash line. And I'm just using the same exact one that I used before. Ow! I just poked myself in the eye so hard. Next up, I'm gonna go back in and add some highlighter to the face. Oh wait, blush, blush. For blush, I'm gonna be using this one from Makeup Geek. It's in the shade Infatuation, and it's actually a really beautiful, subtle shade, you know, on that nude trend. I don't know why I just blew on the pan, but you know. Then for highlight, I'm gonna be using um, Essay Lauder Heat Wave from their Bronze Goddess collection. Yes, yes. They say not to like highlight where you are breaking out, but I like to glow, so we're gonna do it anyways, even though I have a little pimple right there. But well, it's kind of big, not just little, but <laughs> this highlighter, like, it makes me want to cry. It's so beautiful. For our nude lips, I'm gonna be first lining them with MAC Oak Lip Liner. To finish off the look, I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild Lippy. So this is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick in the shade Nudie Patootie. And this is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, I love nudes and neutrals and this is just like, this is the color scheme that really speaks to me. So I'm really happy that I was able to create a full face look using pretty much only nudes. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All the products will be linked down below in the description box for your convenience. And I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, you can always leave comment requests down below if you want to. Um, I'm really, really excited to start doing more colorful looks and then also summer looks. I'm just dying to do more summer looks. So leave comments down below, or sorry, leave suggestions down below if you have any and I'll be sure to check them out. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys more than I could ever express, <laughs> ever. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye.